Alright, welcome back to War in the East. So, I'm just going to immediately start the German turn. It's now the 6th of November. You've missed um, Guy Fawkes Night, but I don't think anyone here cares. So, hopefully you're still enjoying this. If you are, you know, hopefully you've subscribed already. It's nice actually seeing how many people are kind of coming here for the, this type of video. I mean, it's always nice to know that there's people wanting to watch something like this. Right, still muddy. Doing their recon. And then they'll probably hit me at some key places. Uh, let me, yeah, they free those guys. What a surprise. I thought I'd expect those guys north of Riga to get freed in a minute as well. If they don't, I'll be amazed. And I'll also punish the Germans heavily for it. Reaching Budapest might be a big ask. But you know, it's a game, it's a goal. That's kind of down here in the bottom corner if you don't know. Huge amounts of army group north, trapped. They rescue those guys as expected. I'm mainly holding this position for now. Be those guys. I may have to pull that unit back. Alright, yeah, I definitely should have pulled those guys back. Well then, there's no way they can properly encircle them. I'll be, I'll be able to find a chink. Find a chink in the arm, that's all good. Hey, they finally wiped that. Give the area out. Also, what's that? Several divisions back that's being held back there. Are they going to make a push to try and break the pocket? Not too much of an issue if they don't. Because end of the day... Those are still several turns until the snow arrives. I'm hopefully using to dig in. No, nope, didn't break the pocket, so I'm going to have another go at bombing the two um, ports they've got. Always a chance that, you know, I'll just tip them over the edge. Not actually sure what the percentage will be before these guys count as isolated. It's going to be at least 90% damaged. 83,000 that turn for 26. Um, someone's doing the uh, comparison of the thread to me and um, you, Pen. Um, yeah. My army could be bigger, but i got a lot more ground. I've got a lot less like, places I need to fall back. Repeat. And that's the only attack I'm going to try there. Oh, you're going to give me a 10 mile gap there. That's fine. I will take that. Oh, you can move, that's excellent. I really do wish someone would, would repair that rail line. Kind of key to me. Right, 53rd Army, join that Leningrad front. And then we'll join everyone onto the 53rd Army.
So I'm definitely a much more aggressive player than you, you Pen. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, we'll find out. But, yeah, a lot of you guys are in the, commenting the thread. I think, oh, you should be doing this and doing that. Not the style I'm do going for here. I'm going for a competent but aggressive Russia. We'll see how competent I actually am when we get to the end of the game. But as said from the start, the aim here is not to retreat the way to Moscow and then destroy them in the winter. This is to hold them back as far as possible and then destroy them in the winter. That may cost more men, but you know, it is more realistic. Not totally realistic because Stanley wouldn't be telling me to attack across the entire line. But you know, as things go, it's not too bad. At this point, Stanley would be fairly happy. Actually, no, he wouldn't. He'd only be happy if he knew real life. I think it's like, oh yeah, Stanley would be really happy with this. Yeah, only if he compared it to an absolute disaster. In his head, this is um, an absolute disaster. Okay, let's do the important bits. Let's quick, do a quick AI. Econ. Okay. And let's bomb the city. 78 damage. 40 bombers. 59. Already at 79, so 80. All right, let's have a quick look at what they're actually at now. 82. I can't really push them any further than this, annoyingly. At 80. That's sad. No, they're going to run low on supplies at some point. Let's just do that again. I'm going to move these guys down. I haven't got any clue what they are. Ooh, they were either air units or recon units. Because they just melted. So I have, let's have a look at the battle actually says there. Well, I don't get info what just routed there. Hopefully it's a bunch of HQ units. And I'll take the advantage here. Freeze up these guys to shuffle along a little bit. Go across the river and circle those. We will march in here. And let's move that airbase back a little bit, shall we? No point in losing them, we don't have to. Okay, so I can. That like that. Mechanize unit on the front line here. That's the best I can do for, for encircling those guys, pretty much. Unless I can get another few units around. I like having those guard units there just as a, um, a heavy hitter for when everything goes my way. Okay, I'm going to leave those there as a nice little reserve. 
put the 50th army will get in two more guys. You two pull back and just widen the net a little bit. Advance and take the extra bit of mileage they've given me. Likewise. Because let's face it, you're going to give me that much space, I'm going to take that much space. It's completely up to you throwing me back. I'm going to leave you there. Continue to march 19th Army towards the front lines. This will speed up when the mud goes. I've still got plenty of rail points, so. Worst of the worst. I should just be able to move them around rapidly. I've still got the dense railway part of Russia. It's not like I've got to worry about terrible rail lines. Right. These guys are holding up so many troops, it's amazing. Just like this is forcing them to extend them. Um, supply drop, that was what we are going to do. That's what aircraft are not available, okay. I'm not going to bother assigning these this turn, they're definitely reserve troops. You guys are going to be railing in. Why do I need these guys? I'm going to put them here on the edge of the marshes and then just kind of have them on an active reserve. You can move up to here. First shock army. Hi guys, you're, you're now the first shock army. What about you? Yeah. I have no idea what how the first shock army is different. I mean, if I remember, that's the Siberians, Siberians, but. They'll do what I need them to do. Basically kill Germans. Someone's going to tell me what they do in the comments, that's fine. Hey, I have not played this game in years. Right, off the train lads, the shock army is ready to do some shocking, as soon as the weather breaks. One spare I can send towards the first shock army. Right. Should I move 
move these guys down here just so I've got something else to punch the Romanians with. I feel like I'm not like thinking about punching Romanians enough. looking pretty good. They, they're starting to pull back a little bit, so I'm going to have to keep the pressure on here, aren't I? I need to be on them. Take one off, put two in there. Off, put one in there, one in there, and then down there. And there's no bridge there, of course. That reserve's gonna stay as a reserve. When you moved you, you can get off your train. You're just getting everyone in position. So. I get another unit into that bit there? No, I can't. But yeah, we're digging in. It's fine. Taking out this SS division, the total guff. going to be tough. Not sure I can do it. My main worry is when I start it liquidating this, they're going to flee magically through the lines, because it's happened for my unit several times. But we'll see. Alright, see you next time.